free and fair trade, not trade that undermines competition. For decades, China has taken advantage of trade, taken advantage of trade versus the United States of America, and taken advantage of trade versus countries in Asia and Southeast Asia. And it's time for that to stop. And President Trump has said, we're going to fix this. And to fix it requires uh, determination, and that's, I think, what you saw this morning. The president is determined to achieve this outcome. What we're asking for is really easy. Indeed, the Chinese had agreed to it at one point and then walked away from the deal. The U.S. is in a good position, leading global growth, but with Trump, President Trump saying that he will tax the hell out of China, there are negative implications. Uh, but negative implications of decades of bad behavior on the part of China. Some commitment to the region after what's been said. You talked about building ties with South Asia, with Asia. Do you think... So I think President Trump's been pretty clear. We've asked China simply to do the right thing. Uh, America has a long tradition uh, of making sure that every citizen has the right to express their conscience, their views. Uh, we hope that's the case all around the world. That is true in China as well. Uh, and so I hope uh, that uh, the way things proceed in Hong Kong will proceed in a way that is not violent. Um, that's, that's not constructive for any of the parties in the region. And we hope uh, that every, everywhere citizens want to voice uh, their views, whether those are in support of a particular government or in opposition to a particular government, They'll be permitted to do so. We are still fully committed to achieving the outcome that we've laid out, the fully verified denuclearization of North Korea, and to do so through the use of diplomacy. The sanctions have been very effective, and we will enforce them everywhere. We will enforce them against any company, any country that continues to violate those sanctions. We've already imposed uh, sanctions on one company inside of China. Uh, we will continue to do that. It is absolutely imperative that we deny the Ayatollah and the Islamic Republic of Iran from having the wealth and resources to build a nuclear program that could threaten anyone in the world.